Hey guys, what's going on? Check out this pile of fish. We had an awesome day fishing offshore with our friend Captain Ryan of Good Karma Sport Fishing of Tavernier Creek Marina. I hope you guys enjoy the fishing part in this video, and I'll meet you at the fillet table to flay them up and then in the kitchen to cook them up. So see you then. You ready? I got enough speedos in there for you to get your limit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I am going down with my first bait. Victor already caught a legal black grouper, and Ryan caught a small one. So, the last few times I fished with Ryan, I've missed a couple black groupers. So, today will hopefully be my redemption day. I just hit bottom, so I'm going to reel up a couple turns. You start seeing that little bite on there, pick it up, pick it up and get ready because that means you're going to get crushed. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be a good one. Martin, keep her mutton. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. First keeper mutton of the day. Ryan just caught this one. Victor caught one that was like a hair too small. There he is. Keep. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get go, it. go! 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 Brooke, Brooke, Brooke. Pick it up, Brooke. I'll do it. No, he's on, he's on, he's on. She's got him, she's got him out, she's got him out. She's got him out. Way to go, babe. Oh! No, keep going. No. No, he pulled it. Man. Gosh darn it. I well, do it. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. Just pulled. Just pulled. Don't worry about it. So, Ryan just caught that keeper mutton, and then this one went off right after, but the hook just pulled. Yeah. All good, we got another one. I mean, that's what happened to my first one too. It just happens. You're fishing. Yeah. You're fishing a ton. Yeah, of drag. you pull. You're fishing a ton of drag. You're gonna pull hooks. So I'd rather you pull the hook and then and let them win the battle. So when you pull the hook, you have more of a chance of catching them again. Does it need to be retied? No, it looks good. I like to mix it up a little bit. I don't like to put two speedo heads on one line. I like to use the bottom smaller pieces as well. Sometimes they want filet mignon. Sometimes they want little biscuits. That's what I call it. <laughs> Speedo biscuits, I call them. The little tail piece. And that's what this one ate. So. so a lot of times your bites come in pairs or you get a couple bites at the same time. So we kept watching this rod as I was just holding this fish and that one went off. But the hook just pulled, so I'm going to get back down and hopefully I can get a nice fish in the boat. This guy's going in the ice. There you go. I'm telling you, I think the, br the grouper that Brooke just hooked it's probably twice as big as the one that's in the box right now. Round two, babe. Round two. I'm gonna crush that. There you go. That's him. Got it. Get it? Yeah. She's connected to something. It's not that big, but there's something there. Might wake up on you in a second. I guess it's not too small. Could be a mutton, mangrove. Flip him on in here, bro. Mutton. Give him a flip. Look at how you hooked them. <laughs> I've never the seen. Forehead? I've never seen anyone hook a fish like that except you. Well, that's probably a 16 and a half inch mutton. Yeah. Got him right in the snout. Got him right through literally a nose piercing. He was sniffing the bait and he sniffed too much. He got a little nose piercing, but he's gonna be okay. He's not legal. They gotta be 18 inches to keep. He's probably 16-ish. So, gonna let him go and let him grow. See ya. That, that was the most graceful release I've ever seen you do. <laughs> like deep drop rigs and other. Oh, oh, I got one. Oh, Brooks got one. Oh. Yep. Oh, no. oh, you got him? Don't give up, Brooke. He was just swimming at you. He was sleeping. Got another fish. I think it's the lucky hat. I think so. Put it on the hat, catch the fish. It's heavy, bro. It's bigger than the last one. We're making this look easy. Yeah, Benito. Oh no. Uh, oh. That was a king. King. Yep, kingfish. Oh, you off. Kingfish got mm. cut off. Kingfish. The second you know when you're fighting something and your line scopes out, you don't have a bottom fish. <laughs> oh yeah. Is that him? Yeah, he got it. Oh, get, get him, babe. That's the one. That's him. That's the one. That's a grouper. Oh. Get him up, babe. That's a big one. 
Is it a shark, do you think? Uh, I don't think so. No, she's it's coming it up. Head, right? Yeah, she's got, she's getting it. I don't think that's a shark. No, that's a big grouper. Usually she'd tap out because a big old nursey nurse. Yeah. This is a big fish. Positive. Shaking his head. She's kicking his head. Uh oh. It's a sea monster. You're fine. It's a big old sea monster. You got him. You've almost got him. Whoops. That's what lock drag looks like. <laughs> you think a nurse shark? Yep. Yeah. Think a nurse. It was about time I. Sometimes you gotta pay your shark dues. Before you can catch your big grouper. Yeah. You come here. Oh. Now you break off. Now you break off. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Kicked my butt by a big nurse that was shark. A big old butt kicking right there. He is. He's got a hold of it. You got him. That's a biggie. That's a grouper. That's a grouper. Yep, yeah, that's a grouper. Got him, bro. That's a nice oh, yeah, big baby. grouper. We got him. That's him. Yeah, either that or a big mutton. I think it's I a grouper. I think it's fighting like a grouper. I'll come in and... I'll tell you what, it's definitely not another nurse shark. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's a nice fish, isn't it? Feel it? Oh, yeah. yeah We've got, got that drag locked down, so it's going to feel pretty easy. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, I can't reach it. I got it. Go. Sorry. It looks like a big mutton. It's white. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like a big mutton. Yep. Oh, yeah, it is a big mutton. Oh, man. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a nice fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. There you go. That is a nice one. Nice shot, girl. Woo! Big old mutton snapper. How's that for a beautiful Wednesday afternoon? Some beautiful mutton snappers in the boat, a nice grouper, and the Florida Keys, you can't beat it. You know how some mines have the green back and then some have the orange? Yeah, the easiest way to explain it is, is shallow water, green, deep water orange. Ah. Hanging in the grass. So they're green when they're hanging out on the grass shallow. flats and shallow. Yeah. And then when you got those pretty orange ones, they're in deeper water. Yeah, the deeper water. So this guy's pinks and greens. An inshore mutton. I mean, come on. It's like someone painted that on there. Look at that. He's even yeah. got a little yeah. blue on his eyeball. The blue is the coolest thing of these muttons. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. It's Make a sure nice you guys one. check out Captain <laughs> Ryan. I'll have all his information linked down in the description. Great fish. You guys can come out here and catch some mutton snappers on your own. All right, guys, another mutton snapper going in the box. Gonna be a delicious dinner tomorrow, and tomorrow is actually my brother's birthday, and he requested fish for his birthday. So here you go, Jed. Here's your fish dinner. Woohoo! He might have got you in the rocks. Get him out, babe. You got it. Oh, he's coming out. He's coming out. He's out. He's out. Not yet. I can feel him rubbing against the reef. Rubbing on something, but he's coming out. You see it? Coming out. So this was on a live pilchard. I think he's out now. He's out. I don't know. It's weird. With a really long leader, probably twice as long as we were fishing before. That might be a black. Pick a position. Well, this butt hurts on my leg. Well, I got him out of the rock. You did, that's the first step. Right there, okay? You know what okay? I see the weight. You see it? Yeah, it's here. All right, right behind you. That's a really big fish. Right there, right? That might be what you want. Whatever he is, he's right, see. Whatever he is, he's a good fish, so. You got him, bro. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Almost lost your hat there. Come on, baby. Be the right color. Big mutton. 
or a black? I haven't seen him yet. I don't think he's a trigger. Ah! It's brown, it's brown, it's brown! That's a big black. That's a giant black. That's grouper. a big black grouper. Here you go, bring him over to me. Ah! Wow! Yes! Nice! Yes, 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 bring him up, bring him up. That's a nice one. Nice, bro! Ah! <laughs> All right, bro. I finally got my grouper! <laughs> That's a keeper, right? That's oh, yeah. a keeper, yeah. Look, okay. you can see where he was in the rocks. Man. Woohoo! Good job, babe. Nice job. <laughs> Almost lost my hat, too. <laughs> you saved your hat. Woo, baby. Congratulations, girl. Nice Heck job. yeah, thank you. Oh, Woo. yeah. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I honestly don't know if I've ever caught a keeper black grouper on the channel before. And it finally just happened. Today's May, what? Yeah, Today's May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Grouper season's been open for only five days, open on May 1st. Got myself a keeper grouper. So pretty. Heck so yes. Pretty. Oh my gosh, go, 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 and he was in the reef. Do you see the fry right there? Look oh, yeah. where it was on his teeth. Look at that. That's Incredible. a decent fry. Woo, oh, I'm there's... so excited. Nice job, girl. It's a nice 26 inch fish. Beautiful. Brooke spanked him. Love it. So, like I had said, he was stuck in the rocks. You can see the scratches on his um, side where he was down in the rocks, pulled him out on 40 pound test too. Captain Ryan said it earlier today. He's like, today is your Black Grouper Redemption Day. And that, it finally happened, my Black River Redemption, and I am so stoked. So, he's going to be absolutely delicious. Going in the box, could not be happier. Beautiful mutton snappers, two keeper black groupers, and we haven't even been fishing that long. Absolutely epic day already. I am so happy. Join your friends. So not only have we had non-stop action today, but we have literally been on one spot the entire day. We have not moved. We are anchored in 90 feet of water and this has been the only spot we've been on all day. Keeper mutton snappers, keeper black groupers. Oh, he came up after it. Another black? Came up and smacked it. <laughs> Got him on, baby. Got another one. This is a button. Another one on the pilchard. No, this is a. This is on the biscuit. Oh, another chunk of speed up. Yeah, a little biscuit bait. Uh, little mutt. Yeah, little baby. Aww, look how cute. There you go. We're gonna get him back really fast here. Cute little mutton snapper. He's, a pretty He's going back. He had a big bait for that little guy. He sure did, didn't he? Alright, so this is what I'm using as bait. This is a chunk of a Speedo. And this leader is about 40 feet, and I'll show you how to attach the weight in a second to make it really easy to reel your fish all the way up to the tip instead of having the hand line like we do quite often. But you want to have a long leader when you're bottom fishing like this because a lot of fish are very spooky, especially muttons. They see that weight bouncing around and they don't want to eat right next to the weight. So you get this long leader, your bait is in the current, flowing down in the current, you got your chum slick bringing all the fish in, and then they don't even notice the weight when you got this long leader because it's so far away. So now we're going to attach, we're using 20 ounces of weight with this clip. And um, Captain Ryan, you have a class on this, right? What's that? You have an online class on this? Yep. Yeah, the mutton crusher. The mutton crusher. So he calls this the mutton crusher rig, and he actually has classes on his website. Um, I guess we can call them courses, right? Yeah, little courses. Yep, little short courses. So he has short courses on exactly how to set this rig up for yourself, and you guys can check that out. I'll have a link in the description, because as you can see, it's absolutely killing it. You're able to unclip that weight every time you get to it. Unclip the weight and then reel all the way up on that leader so you get the fish all the way to the tip of the rod. And you don't have to worry about hand lining. For instance, Victor caught like a 20 plus pound kingfish. If you needed to hand line in that 40 foot leader with a big kingfish like that, it is quite annoying. So reel up a little bit off the bottom and then you just wait for your bite. 
That's yeah, a big baby. One. That's, that's a big one. one. Right there. It's a big one. Got you in the rock, oh. I think. Oh, you got it! Oh, big got one! It. Oh, man. That's a black. That's a little black. Yeah, I think it's an earth. Coming up easier now? That's a nurse. Yeah. So I hooked a nurse shark, and Victor is so kind that he said, Here, let me reel it in for you since you already caught one today. <laughs> right, Vic? I said you didn't need to be punished twice today. Big boy. Back to the deep he goes. Uh, he was in the stock on bottom something. and rubbing on something and something rubbing on a line. Let's see what he looks like here before I get the net. Feel heavy? It's a decent fish. Yeah. It's a 30 pound bite on that one. So we got see a big mangrove? Or you got yourself another mutton? Mutton. Mutton? Yeah, no, it's a mutton. He'll be close. We'll measure him up. He's gonna be he's legal. 19. He's legal. He's gonna be 19. He looks 19 inches. Uh, he was yeah, all I caught think up. He's gonna be 19. I think so. I'm surprised that the line doesn't feel all frayed up because he was all up in something. Yeah, it's not frayed. Wow, that was interesting. No, it's good. I mean, ah, he might he, even be 20. He was squiggled in something. You see this? Squiggled. No, yeah, look, look at your line. It's all squiggled. Yeah. It look. was weird. That was weird, right? Weird going Let's on. measure him up. I think he's going to be tater tots. Tater tots. Tater tots. <laughs> Man, you got the best food analogies <laughs> out there. 19 he's and a half, 19. baby. He's almost 20. Yeah, he's good. Nice fish. We got keeper number four or five? That's five. Keeper number five in the boat. Beautiful mutton snapper. You can see this one isn't as green as that one that we were telling you guys about. This guy's got a lot more color to him. Beautiful pink and orange, and they got those blue lines on the head. These are some of my favorite fish to not only catch but also to eat. I absolutely love mutton snapper fishing, and they taste absolutely delicious. Can't beat it. This is what I come to the Keys for, as well as my grouper redemption, but these beautiful mutton snappers. Good job, Ricky. All right, guys, well, we just finished up our fishing trip today, and today we left the dock at, like, what, 11 o'clock? Yeah, o Hollywood start today. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to sleep in a little bit and go out for a nice afternoon fishing trip, and we absolutely killed it. I am so stoked with the amount of fish that we caught. But you guys have seen us fish with Captain Ryan a bunch, so I will have all the videos where we fished with him in the past in the description, as well as he has a podcast, courses, and you can find out all his charter information linked down in the description. Thank you for taking us out. We had a great time. Yeah, thank you, guys. So see you at the fillet table. All right, guys, we are back home at the fillet table, and it is time to fillet up this nice black grouper. I'm going to be using this 8-inch Dexter Outdoors flexible fillet knife. You guys can save 20% on any Dexter knives with code BROOK20 if you guys are interested. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is make a cut from the head around the head down just like this then I'm gonna spit them towards me if you take your knife and you go down you're gonna feel the backbone of the fish that's where you want your knife so you're gonna spin it like this so my one hand is kind of holding the fish in place while my other hand is just gliding the knife down the bones you can feel your knife on the bones that's where you want to be all the way down to the tail and after I make that first initial cut, I like to come in and just glide down the bones, keep releasing the meat off, just working towards the center of the fish, work around, I guess I should say over this rib cage, 
And I'm just taking my time so that I'm happy with my fillet job, you know, I'm not rushing. we go check out that beautiful white meat might as well skin it while we're here I'm gonna use the exact same knife that I just used still that 8 inch flexible starting at the tail side I like to put the fillet right next to the edge of the fillet table that way you can get your knife as flat as possible if I'm flaying over here I'm not gonna be able to get my knife that flat you see that Look at all that meat that I'm gonna miss if I'm trying to skin a fish over in the center of my fillet table. If I get on the very edge, my knife is gonna be flat and I'll be able to get all of that meat. So always make sure your skin, your fillet is at the edge of the fillet table. So I'm using my one hand to hold onto the skin and the other hand to just use the knife and work it down all the way along the fish. There you go, just missed one little tiny piece. But there's your skin. Feed that to my catfish friends. Just touch this up a little bit. Just like that. Now it's time to take out the pin bones. Pin bones run down the center. You can feel them with your finger. If you run your finger like this, you'll feel the bones. So cut on one side of them cut on the other side of them. And that's where all your pin bones are. This fish doesn't really have a bloodline. All right, so there is one side of our beautiful grouper. Absolutely beautiful white meat. Now groupers also have cheek meat and you can either make a fish head soup out of the head. Oh, look, look, look. for the air and sea show right now so that's why you keep hearing planes but I don't know what those are I'm sure one of you guys probably know what kind of planes those are comment down below like blue angels or something I don't want to sound stupid but yeah anyways like I was saying you can make um, fish head soup out of the grouper head you can take out the cheek meat they do have cheek meat this guy's pretty small so his amount of cheek meat is not going to be very large I'm gonna whack off the other side flay all the other fish and then I will meet you in the kitchen to cook up a delicious birthday dinner for my brother so see you there can you guys see that barracuda and there's some jacks swimming around I'm gonna right. have scraps for you in a second here there's also a ton of catfish too but that cuda's waiting he's just looking at me Alright, where is he? Where is he? Toss it out far. Oh, oh my gosh, it. look at him. Ooh, he got it. I there hope you did. guys can see that. He's carrying it around like a dog with a dog bone. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So we are about to head back to my parents' house where we are going to cook dinner tonight. Victor is going to be doing fried grouper as well as mutton snapper. And I decided to do a little fish appetizer. So I'm going to be making mutton snapper bruschetta. So what I did was I took some French bread, I chopped it into about half inch pieces, put them on this baking tray and baked them until I got like this nice little golden brown on those. And then in this bowl I have some um, diced up tomatoes, as well as some fresh basil and then some garlic. And this is going to be the topping on top of the bread. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bread, I'm going to pan sear some fish, do a light chop on that, put that on top of the bread, and this goes on top of that, finish off with some feta cheese and some balsamic vinaigrette, and it's going to be delicious. So, before we head to my parents' house, I just wanted to whip this up together real fast. So we have our tomatoes, basil, garlic, like I had said. Just gonna add a little fresh cracked pepper. And then some branch and vine, um, Myra lemon infused olive oil. Probably could use a little more basil, but that's okay. I'm gonna put some saran wrap on top of this, then head to my parents' house, so see you there. So this is one of the smaller mutton snappers, and all I did was season it with some black pepper, salt, and some garlic powder. And I'm telling you guys, this stuff is amazing. Like, I feel like I could just eat it like this. It's just the most beautiful white 
me. I absolutely love Mutton Snapper. So, in this pan I have some butter and some olive oil. So I was about to take it off and I decided to just break it up because I'm going to break it up anyways to put on the pieces of bread. So just kind of breaking it up. on top of the fish. These guys are really loaded up. Should be interesting to eat. A little sprinkle of feta cheese. Now for the final step, going down with some balsamic vinaigrette by Branch and Vine. This is the 25 star. I'll put their stuff in the description of this video. They have some amazing olive oils and vinegars. So good. Hey, big guy. Thanks, brother. Is it a bruschetta? Yeah, this is Brooks. This is for Brooks. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Mutton snapper. Is that what that is? That's mutton snapper on your plate. That's got a lot of flavor. That's delicious. It tastes as good as it looks. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chad. Happy birthday to you. Well, I forgot to do an outro the other night for Jed's birthday, but that recipe is something that is really easy to make. It's fresh, it just, it's like a nice, light, little appetizer. It's absolutely delicious. Make sure you guys give it a try. And we had a great dinner, so thank you to Captain Ryan for taking us fishing and allowing that dinner to happen. So make sure you guys check out his charter information. I will have it linked below, as well as all the other things he does, like his podcasts and his courses and things like that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.